You probably clicked on this video because you're super excited. You just picked up the Echo Show second gen on the Prime Day deal and you're trying to go through and set it up. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to set up the Echo Show, as well as look at some of the basic features. Stick around. To spend a ton of time with the unboxing, you essentially get the Echo Show and then a power cable in the, in the box. And then of course, you've got some documentation to go along with it. So in any case, once you've got it all plugged in and ready to go, the first thing that it's gonna ask you to do is of course, select a language. You can go through and you can scroll through this list to find the language that you're looking for. For today, we're just gonna click on English. Oh, ready for setup. And then you can hear that it's going to start searching for networks. So it may be a good idea to also put the Echo Show in the room that it's going to be in and make sure that you're connecting it to the best Wi Fi in that area. So for here, we're just going to do the Mission Control 2.4. And then I'm gonna go ahead and punch in the password real quick for it. Once you've got your password in there, go ahead and tap done in the bottom right corner. And it's just gonna give you a quick summary, Mission Control 2.4, it's gonna be the connection type. And then of course it's got your password. Now this is personal preference, but I don't care that Amazon needs access to my Wi-Fi password. So I uncheck that box right there. And then once you've got it, click on connect. It'll take a moment of course to authorize everything and make sure that the password you've typed in is correct. If for any reason it's still not working, you may need to double check your credentials. If it's still not working, try a different network and see if it uh, works for that one. Once you've got it connected to a Wi-Fi network, it wants to connect it to your Amazon account. Now the cool thing is, is if you have ordered this thing through your Amazon account that you're going to be using, when you ordered it, there was a checkbox that was most likely default checked that had already basically pre-set up to just kind of streamline the setup process. That's not the case with this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my Amazon account. Again, once you've typed in the credentials, it's gonna do its loading thing, and it's gonna start connecting it to that account. Now it says, hi, Aaron Mark. The Echo Show is now registered to Aaron Mark by continuing you agree to Amazon's conditions of use and all the terms found here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click continue and it's gonna confirm your time zone. If this is correct, click on continue. If it is not, you can tap on each one of these and scroll through the list to make sure that you're finding your correct time zone. If you don't have your address in here, you can put that in there to kind of tailor the experience uh, as it's saying for the weather, traffic and all that good stuff. It's probably already got it in there. If not, you can also enter a different address. We're just gonna go ahead and click on continue. To keep your devices organized, place your Echo Show in a group. I've got a bunch of groups already set up, and if we scroll through this list, it's gonna ask what room our Echo Show is going to be in, and this is going to be in Mission Control, so I'm gonna tap that. Give this device a name to play music, call or drop in, just like any device. We're gonna go ahead and just leave it as Aaron's Echo Show, and then click on Continue. Perfect, your wallpaper will periodically change images within the category you select. You can change this at a different time. So if you just wanted to choose something for now, you can change this later on. We're just gonna go through, we'll choose nature and then tap continue. You can make this a dedicated child's device that's got more parental controls on it. Things are locked down a little bit more. And this is asking for that. Make your Echo Show child friendly, automatically filter explicit content, set bedtime limits and review activity. I'm gonna go ahead and click on no you're gonna click on whatever you want. So click no. And then it does make you watch the introducing the Echo Show video. So you're gonna wanna tap the play button and let it go through that. Once you're done with that, you will get an ad that says Amazon Music at the most. You can sign up for the 30 day. We're not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna click no thanks. So this is essentially what the homepage looks like. We're gonna go through just a, a basic overview of the actual user interface. You can see right here at the top, we've got a webcam and it's got four microphones right here. These are far field microphones. And then if you look on the very top here, it's got four more as well. As side width, we've got the microphone button. You can click this and you can see that the bar will go orange along the bottom that will disable electronically disable the mic. And then of course you can press it again to turn the mic back on. And then of course you've got your volume buttons that you can press up and down to change the volume on the fly. Now, if you swipe up from or swipe down from the top, We've got a list of information here where you can go to the home page. You can adjust your screen brightness right here. You've got a do not disturb. So if you have certain hours that you want to use this thing, that you can turn that on and you'll get like a little half moon icon right here and it's gonna mute any calls, any notifications, any reminders, anything like that when the do not disturb is enabled. And of course, tap it. You see you've got the purple bar indicating that do not disturb is there but then you can click it again to turn off Do Not Disturb. Going into settings, this is where you're gonna spend most of your time kind of customizing everything. 
You can connect this thing to Bluetooth devices. You can change your uh, network right here if you change the network. You've got display and brightness. Again, you can set up adaptive brightness, so the screen will change brightness, of course, depending on the ambient light, just like your cell phone would. You've got sunrise effect. Display gradual sunrise-like lighting conditions. Uh, 15 minutes before, if you would like that, to where it will slowly increase brightness, you can enable that. Wallpapers and clock, you have a variety of different wallpapers that you can use. If you scroll through this list, you've got seasonal, nature, travel, art. You've got a different ones on there. Minimal, if you don't like really anything on there. Night mode and ambient clock, you can turn those on and off. And then, of course, you do have the option to enable a 24-hour clock if you like that. If you wanted to go up here, you can use Amazon Photos if you wanted to use this as like a digital picture frame, which is really cool. It will cycle through those photos and you can just go to the Alexa app on your phone. So if we go to the Alexa app here, you can see we go to more, go to settings, scroll all the way down to photos and you can see personalization settings. You've got the echo background. You can tap on that uh, displaying nature and you can change which photos are here. So if you go to uploaded photos, you can see that I've got a photo of Mars the other night that I want to be displayed as one of the wallpapers that are on this thing. Then of course, if you wanted to add more, you can click plus. You can upload up to 10 photos at a time, press and hold to select multiple, multiple photos, hit okay. And you can go through and you can upload different photos for the wallpaper. So if we go back into the settings here, go to wallpaper and clock and we'll do Amazon photos and you can select multiple ones of these just by, by, by putting a check box or a check in the box right there and then go back. So you can see right here, now this is one of the images that I've uploaded to it. So you can go through and change those wallpapers. Going back into settings, you've got things like uh, home content. This will allow you to go in, uh, change active devices, see when your, uh, your own Echo devices are active, calendar events, communications, discovery. So you can go through and just kind of customize what you want to cycle through on the home screen. Sound, you can change. Everything is pretty, it's pretty well tuned to begin with, but if you do want to change things around, you do have the ability to mess with the equalizer and uh, turn some things down or up depending on how you like things. Custom sounds, alarms, you've got all sorts of different settings for sounds. Free time allows you to make Alexa just for kids, so if you enable this, then it's going to uh, disable or enable at certain times depending on when you want your kids to be able to use it. Do not disturb, we went over that. Communications, this is things like your incoming call ringer, so if somebody's trying to call you, device options, your name, location, wake word, all of that stuff is all set up in there. Restrict access, you can turn on uh, restrictions for different things on here like web browsers, movie trailers. Again, just more of those parental controls that you may like to have. Alexa preferences, you can go back into photos and you can set up photo slideshow settings. So if you wanted to be able to do some cropping or no cropping, speed in which the slideshow is going to rotate through the photos. And that's pretty much the notable things when it comes to the settings. So you can kind of dig around in there and personalize the Echo Show. Now the next piece, if you slide to the left from the right side of the screen, you're going to get uh, more of the smart home hub type of stuff. You've got communicate, which this is going to be like your messages, things like that. You can do drop in, announce calls, messages. You will need to have the contacts uploaded uh, to Alexa in order for this to work. You got your music. So this is going to play any of your, like your recently played music. If you have it hooked up to a Spotify account or like Apple Music or something along those lines, this is where you'll go in to uh, play the music. So we're gonna go ahead and click on back. Routines, this is where you're gonna find uh, setting up the groups or controlling multiple devices at once that are either in those groups or setting up on a schedule or by a single command. So if we see this, like the living room lamp on, I have it set to turn on at like 6.45, I think in the morning and then automatically turn off at like eight o'clock so you can set things up on a schedule. This is where you can turn them on and off manually if you want to. It also is a way, routines are a way for you to uh, control multiple devices by a single command, very similar to how groups are. If we go back to smart home, this is where you're gonna find those groups and or devices. So you can see we've got all of these things are individual devices, but if we tap on groups, it's going to load the groups that we've got that have multiple devices in them as well. So you can go through and control them with that. 
video. This is where you're going to be able to use like the Hulu, Prime Video, NBC. You can see them listed right here. Unfortunately, Netflix, even in 2020 or October 2020, is still not available on this thing. And that's most likely because it obviously competes with Prime Video. I don't know why Netflix isn't on here, but Hulu is. Maybe they have some type of contract. But in any case, this is where you're going to go to find those types of videos. And then of course the last one is to check on your alarms. If you have current alarms set for either waking up or you have something in the oven or something along those lines, you can see this on here and make it a very easy to glance. And again, everything is all voice control. So if you say, Alexa, show me my alarms. There are no alarms set. So you can see right there. So you don't have to touch anything on the screen, especially if you're either like cooking something